We are linking straight to the Kumiyang Prep Corps, but the Coalition for Social Justice demonstrating against hardship and oppression. Now, my uh, uh, colleague Selim Amenya is out there and he has details for us. And the demonstration is definitely happening at the Brass Sports uh, at Circle, where they call uh, Dubai. Uh, the Coalition for Social Justice is demonstrating against hardship, you know, oppression, all of the things that uh, we're going uh, through now. And Salom Amenya is ready for the details of social justice, which has actually been made up of a lot of groups today, have decided to embark on their demonstration, which they are dubbing Kumi Prekun, which literally means that kill us now. And uh, what is surprising is that, apart from members of these groups, uh, other groups have taken advantage of the demonstration. We have groups like the uh, concerned or aggrieved customers of men's gold, the concerned drivers association. Uh, the same way we have uh, where people who are coming from the value and asset, uh, 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 the value and also asset management. Uh, those who actually went on the demonstration against the uh, vehicle or the luxury vehicle tax. They are all part of this group who have joined here today. Security is also tight very much. I am telling you that security is tight. There are men drawn from the force police unit and uh, FPU. You can see I can count about four of their vehicles with uniformed policemen ready to ensure that security is provided, ready to ensure that this demonstration is successful. But the concern that many are raising is that it looks like the police are going to have a tough time handling the crowd here. I, I have here the national chairman of the People's National uh, Congress, PNC. I have here Bernard Mona, who is national chairman of the PNC. Mr. Mona, I know that clearly you are not a member of this group. Why are you here? Well, we are in solidarity with the Coalition for Social Justice. Don't forget I am the convener for the Coalition for National Sovereignty. And together we have decided that today's demonstration should be a mammoth demonstration. As you can see, the tumultuous turnout. It is clear that the people of Ghana are frustrated by the policies and programs of Nana Adodanko Akufado. And it is important that we send that signal. People are suffocating in their businesses. People cannot get jobs to do. The insecurity in our country has reached a crescendo. And above all, the economic and social suffering is unbearable for a majority of the people of Ghana. So as you can see, you can't find an end to this uh, crowd. It is obvious that the majority of Ghanaians are displeased with President Nana Akufuado, and it is time for him to wake up from the slumber to actualize the promises that he made to the people of Ghana. Yes, one would say that these things that we are seeing, the economic hardship and the rest we are talking about, they have always been with us. When Nanado came, inflation has actually dropped from a double digit, that's 15.9 to about 9.8. So why are you saying that there is economic hardship? It is because your understanding of economics is inadequate. You will understand that there is a correlation between inflation and unemployment. And any time inflation is dropping in a devolving country, it means that unemployment is on the ascendancy. It, it, what it means is that majority of the people are being laid off from their jobs. And I'm sure the TV train station that you represent, you can see that a chunk of your people have been laid off simply because the owners of the TV station cannot continue to pay salaries at a time when there is no boom at the industry. So when there is increasing unemployment, and the trump card of the president is that there is inflation. It means that the president is not spending enough in the economy. Contractors are not paid, teachers are not paid, NAPCO workers are not paid, even three staff, TV3 staffs are not being paid. So at the end of the day, you will see. You, you cannot say that voice. I am, I, I am saying this as well, a fact because I come to TV3 and I have friends there. Not you. Well, just, well, that, just to point out to the fact that the reason for which Nana Akufado became president is that he noted. That was Selom Amenya at the Obra Sports, bringing us updates uh, on the Kumiyang Preko demonstration by the Coalition for Social Justice, who are demonstrating against hardship and oppression.